Right, I'm out in Lake District <laughs> because I wanted to test my tent because as the old saying goes a boat or a ship is safer in the harbour safest in the harbour that's not what it was built to do and the Hilleberg is safe in good weather but that's not what it was built to do <laughs> or something like that fool me once shame on you fool me twice don't fool me again <laughs> Da, 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 da. So it's shrouded in cloud, the Turin shroud. It's windy, so audio might not be up to scratch. I forgot me uh, my new hiking boots, so. <laughs> It was either coming trainers or... Whoa! Blown over! Yes! Yeah, it was either going trainers or... I always keep my wellies in my truck, so... Um, the wellies it is, so I might not be able to get right onto the top. Because I don't know about hiking in wellies. <sighs> but we'll go as far as we can. Until we start losing light. Or wellies start to give in. I don't really know where I'm going, so we'll just go find somewhere to pitch the tent. And um, it's going to be for, well, it's forecast to have a little bit of snow, high winds, uh, and then rain. So yeah, I just fancied a bit of a, a bit of a. I just didn't want to have it all my own way, and I wanted to put the tent for its paces. That being said, I better put this away because my digits are freezing and I want to get my gloves on. Now you need to have some sort of base level of fitness to come up into the mountains, otherwise you'll get found out. Right, stay up, up yonder. That's where I'm going into clouds. We'll see what the time is, and if we've got enough time, I'll push up into the clouds and try and get on top. Uh, if not, we'll just camp below the clouds and, and get set up before it gets dark. Right, I've made it up to this tarn. Um, I know the name of it, I know the name of all the things around here, but I just started to, I'm reluctant to say stuff in my videos as to where I go. If you know, you know. Um, it's just that, you know, you can have a, I, I could say somewhere next week it could be flooded with people and, and uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Anyway, you can see, look at that. You can see the cloud. So my options are, I've got an hour before it gets dark. I could try and scramble up there into the dark, into the clouds and get set up, knowing that it's gonna be bad weather tomorrow. Or I can stay here. Uh, we're pretty high up as it is. I found this area just nestled, nestled betwixt these rocks, which looks flat enough for me and I've got a view can you see just through these rocks I can see that little body of water out off into the distance and then I've got the tarn there so nice for views I'm hoping mate it said like at about nine o'clock tonight the skies are going to become clear for a little bit and yesterday was a new moon so the uh, the skies will still be dark and hopefully the stars will be popping and and we can, we can capture a few, fingers crossed. Let's get the dome away from home set up. Oh. 
when you know when you think it's going to be windy or it's forecast to be windy or any time you want tops really because the weather can change or always just have one of them like a guy line or something hanging out of your um of your tent bag and then you can either peg it in or you can just buckle that oh, half a cliff from last camp come out of there or you can just buckle it onto your bag so it's not just going to take off on you um, which I think I'll do <laughs> back out in it back out in weapon Look at that, not even aired her out or washed the last one, but it's only been a couple of days. A couple of days and we're back on it. So it's attached to my bag, so I know I'm fine. Yeah, I can just get my poles in. I've just been mindful of everything, oh, like your little bags and everything could go in your pocket or whatever, because they're all too easily blown off. <laughs> no comment. Nice little place. We're just three colours, red, blue and white. Each one has a sleeve at the side, at the end and with a corresponding uh, sleeve at the other end in the same colour and you just slot these into it. So... That's your colour blind mate, it's pretty easy. Some people say that there's an order in which to do it. Like red first or red last or something like that, but yeah, I've tried them all, and it's all just all seems to be the same. <laughs> uh, which makes sense, doesn't it? If it's symmetrical, why would it be any different? So you lift them all up there and just start clipping. These clips to it as you go. Oh, but just careful not to stand on your tent. Lift the tent, put your feet under it. And just work your way around. And the good thing about it is, one of the good things, is it's self-standing. So once, it's, once you've set it up, you can decide where you want your doors. Get his little hat on. Ricky hat. Get his Ricky hat on. Decide where I want my door. I want one of the doors definitely to open up through this gap so I can get a look at that little bit of water and it's just a nice composition through those rocks. So we'll have this as that door. Eh? There it is. The door. Dawn, Dawn French. Should I put it there? Out there. <laughs> I'm fortunate, fortunate enough it's not blowing the gale so I can have a little trial run. Yes! <laughs> well that is... Mwah, that is a chef's kiss. Totally a chef's kiss mate. Well there. Yes, that's it. You want your pegs to be going in on a 45 degree angle, don't put them straight down because they'll easily just get pulled out. For anyone who's got a Hilleberg, they'll know. That may be the dirt, but your top, your top guy of the two goes, doubles round and goes through itself and, and, and uh, just tightens up on that pole, gives a bit more stability. I'm going to have these quite short because it's under the rock. I like to have them both pretty slack and then you can chuck your peg into both. And then, there you go, on your 45 degree. And then you can just tighten it and you're done. Um, 
let the wind blow it around a little bit, let it settle in, and then before you go to bed, you go around and just tighten them all up again. And there it is. It's a lovely pitch that actually. Sometimes they're a bit wonky, it all depends on the ground and where you can get your, your guys in that, but I'm happy with that one, that's a, that's a decent pitch that. I'll show you a little tip. That's my peg that's in there. And what I'm gonna do is just go around and through the through the dyneema at the top and then in again with another peg same angle just to nip that just to double up you can even triple up um, I've brought plenty of pegs so I'm just gonna do that around my guy lines ah, the dome away from home Woo. half a cliff in there cliff Richard it's overkill I know uh, but it's forecast to snow and I thought it was going to be on the tops, so um, I'll just, it's just better to have the knot. So I've got my axe, uh, got some goggles for snowing eyes, um, and my me, me snow spikes for my shoes. <laughs> Even though I've just got wellies. <laughs> and this has got, this isn't part of it, this is the black diamond one for the tip. And then uh, I just wrap uh, duct tape, black gaffer tape around there, which it holds that on. And it's always good to have uh, half a meter of gaffer tape or whatever, just to for any on the fly repairs. Also, if you're going to be putting these in your bag, just a quick tip I learned here. A quick and easy way to do it is through your axe loo and then just turn it upside down, bang, and then clip it on there super sturdy so there you go take that off because I don't want it to whack me in deep or out like that do I blow my bed up get me fluff my sleeping bag up because it's good to get your sleeping bag out and get it fluffed up so that the uh, so the, the feathers aren't compact get a nice loft on it which uh, which traps the heat and keeps you warm same as mate oh well, I don't know actually because you might just be here for this video new to it so if you know, I'll quickly run through. It's the Rabba Scent 900, my new bag. Just warm. We'll see what it's like up here though, because it's a lot colder. My feet are freezing, mate, because they're in wellies and they afford no insulation whatsoever. <laughs> they're really cold, but I've got some spare socks, uh, so I'll be fine. Sea to Summit Pillow, Xtherm, uh, large Thermarest. And then what I'll do is I'll put this Z light, it's yay big. I'll just put that under the hip area before I go to sleep, but for now it'll just be my porch. I've got my merino wool down jacket and a fleece in there. Just a charger, some electrical stuff. Possibles bag, let's have a look what's in here. Don't even know. Let's have a look. Shall we have a look? Shall we have a look? Now what else to do is the mate, might as well have a look. Just got some brightly coloured Dyneema cord. Some wet wipes. Oh I've got this, me uh Shizen shovel. Water filter earplugs. Winds are picking up, I like it, I like it. My toothbrush and toothpaste in there. Uh, a little, f oh, I keep looking in there, don't I, sorry. My little um, temperature thing for when I, if I go in while swimming, it's nice to know what the temperature is. It's in here. Oh yeah. Just to keep it, it's in, an, it's in uh, one of my old Tokes things, but some goggles, Leave it in here, stop them getting scratched. Um, shout out Beelin, who give me these, these are mint. But I've brought them instead of my, uh, my snowboarding goggles. Just in case we get driving sleet, I thought, just bang them on, protect the old noggin bollocks. Couple of hand warmers. Which you can chuck in your sleeping bag. 
get them out, chuck them in your sleeping bag half an hour before you go to bed or when you take them into bed with you. Oh, game changer, game changer. Spork, shout out Dustin, Dustin Hoffman over at Bushcraft Tools for that one. Some uh, coconut oil which you always have in there. <laughs> fat, lump of fat wood, don't know why, but you never know. Uh, a Life Systems fire steel, it's got a, a, um, a ferrocerium rod and it's got a magnesium on the other side, so a get out of jail free card. I got this little uh, torch back up. Tubby Tom's, because you never know, it's always in there. This is just the possible pouch that I have for everything, really. And, um, oh, that's it. Also got some of this, which is, uh, come on. Which you get. Uh, you get with your Hestra gloves. And it's just a leather balm that you can polish it into your leather gloves to give them a bit more uh, waterproof. Make them a bit more waterproof and just uh, as you would any leather product really, just treat it so you get that free. So I thought I'd bring that and maybe I could do that in a bit. My gloves, whoa, lifesaver, lifesaver. I mix it up depending on which sort of trip I'm going on, but I don't mess, because I, I knew I wouldn't need that, but you never know, do you? So. That's just the survivalist or being prepared. And it, yeah, it's extra weight, stuff is extra weight, but if I'm not doing more than two days hike, I don't care, I'll carry, a, I'm a pack mule, mate, I don't, I don't care. I'll bring whatever I can physically carry just to make my life better, because I'm only coming up here for one night and I want it to be, I want to have a nice time. So I'm happy, I don't care about uh, trimming down weight and worrying about, you know, taking bristles off my toothbrush to keep the keep the milligrams down. Not my bag. Not my bag. Nice bottle of organic red. The light is fading on me quick. I'm gonna have plenty of time to. Oh, shall I quickly show you my torch? Because there's a bit of a Bit of a tragedy last time, wasn't it? Look at this, well happy with it, mate. Kept my tent glowing all night. <sighs> Cost me about 40 quid, but I've been wanting a decent lantern for a while now, because uh, I don't really want to use my UCO light uh, candle lanterns in this beast. Not worth it. And this is just, it's a joy. It's got this here, so I can just hang it off my carabiner. <sighs> These come down, so it can just stand there. Whatever you're doing, just plonk that next to you, and it gives a wonderful light. You can see it's got the um, the USB charger, and also the USB just fits in there nicely on a magnet. So you wrap that around. You can just charge this up with your battery pack, or you can use this as a charger. This will charge your phone up, uh, your, your uh, camera gear, whatever you need. It's also magnetic on the bottom as well, so you can whack it on the bottom of your car or whatever. And you twist it one way, you might not see in this like, whoa guy. Twist it one way and just half comes on. And you can you can have that as powerful or as light as you want. So I forget how much light, how much um, battery use you get out of that, but it's a lot. Or you can have it the other way, which is full on, a bit much. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. I'll leave a link below if you want to have a look at them, but I think it's mint. I think it's mint. Pop that up there. Oh, right, I better get some of my. Uh, oh, get old McDonald's farm wrap round me to keep me warm. Impossible when the fog descends 
You can place your goodwill in the center of the fire. I'm closed for business today. It falls from the sky and it crushes us to the ground. Movements are sluggish and enthusiasm can't be found. I can't see anything out there. I'm closed for business today. Take your pills and push the quilt away. Try to figure out what broke the day. A chemical imbalance or the rain. Lorraine Kelly. Lorraine Kelly. Is that alright? That that. Is that all right? Is that too much light for me to deal with? Quality. This is what I wanted. I don't know. It might not get any better out there and I might be tent bound. And it's a lot. What well, it's called. And it's a long time to be tent bound. I'm aware of that. Why is it such a nice thought? Being just cooped up in here for seven hours. I like it. Plenty to do. I've got some cooking to do. I'm going to... Um, um, treat me gloves. Cheers. Uh, I'm going to sail through that vino. And I've got an audio book and some podcasts. My mate David gave me, uh, sent me a copy of Dune, the book Dune. Um, this was quite a while ago and I've just not got around to reading it. I've tried to read it. But I just can't... I used to be able to, but I just can't. I've got the attention span of a of a coked up eight year old flea, so I just can't concentrate. But I can concentrate on audio books. Uh, that's how I get all my uh, books into here. Is well these days um, is audio books. So um, I've got I've got Dune on audio book because I'm a I've got Audible. You need your podcasts or an audio book or a physical book. And otherwise it's just a lot of meditating and here's a thing you could do actually to which would help me out and also helps you out is i'll leave a link below to um to audible um and if you get a free trial with audible sign up for the free trial through that link um i get a kickback at no extra cost to you and you get a free one month trial of audible and the good thing is you can use it for that month and then just cancel it and you get to keep your book. So you're basically getting a free audio book and you get to help me out and get a free audio book. So that's a win-win. Chuck down below and recommend me some books because I've got three credits on Audible waiting now because I always I just hit a blank spot and I, I, I can't think. I like uh, autobiographies, um, real life stuff. I like anything actually. So yeah, if you want a free a free uh, one month trial of Audible and you get to keep the book. And if you don't want to keep Audible, which I don't know why you wouldn't want to, because it's mint. Uh, yeah, just get rid of it at the end of the month, mate. Then you don't have to pay anything and you still get to keep your book. I've had it for years. I've paid for it for years, but um, yeah, it's up to you, mate. But you'd be helping me out. I'll leave a link below. Thank you. Namaste. Right, let's start layering up. Get some of these... <laughs> Get some of these bad boys on. Oh, my socks, mate. Definitely get my socks on. Get my socks on because my welly's just out doing business for my feet, so I'll double up on my socks. <laughs> oh, can you hear it? Whoa. The rains are coming. I feel like it's such a good pitch that I've got. I've uh, I've doubled up all my pegs on the guy, on the guy lines. Uh, and two on the actual tent. It's pretty taut. I'll let the wind batter it about for a little bit and then I'll get out and I'll tighten it up again. It's quite nice to just listen to it, innit? Whoa, right, avert your eyes while I get clobbered up, get my gear on. Ugh, there we are. It, it's forecast gale force winds. It's just been, it's just been shaking tent. We're getting big, pretty big gusts, but um, it's forecast to drop off around nine o'clock tonight. So I'm fingers crossed it drops off a little bit and then the clouds disperse. So it gives me a, 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 an opportunity to 
to film and to take some photos of the stars then at nine o'clock in the morning it's forecast to uh, to really lag it down then there we go to yeah gale force winds again um and rain and snow so just don't know what you're gonna get that's the beauty of it uh, it's getting a bit dark out there now i've got me i don't know if you can see this but this is the mesh i've taken down the the first layer and so this is just the mesh which gives it um, an even bigger feeling here i have all this door completely open to so access to my cup kit and everything this door closed but just the mesh which lets the breeze come through um, and it makes it seem even even more roomy than it is i'm hoping there's a little bit of a break in this wind and rain now so i can just go out and have a have a can bike river bike lake sorry let's have a look oh do you know what should we make a dash for it anyway i know where there's a little shelter we can go to and um, we'll go sink this we'll go sink this in a shelter out there come on Nice little bothy or little shelter. I'll be in there. Another one less good. Oh, which one could I keep in? <laughs> have to be a thin lad. You have to be thin. Look at it. Should we get in? Shall we get in? I'm in. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. Uh, I'll put you up back. Could I sleep in here? I could sleep in here, mate, easy. Stinks a bit of piss, but... Get you back there, there you are. Oh, it's not actually piss, it's just foisty. That's all. Just a bit of foist, never hurt anyone, did it? I mean, I can just sit in here, look. <laughs> look at that. Boss hog, mate. That's boss, is that? <sighs> Total boss hog. <sighs> I think there's a fella up there. He can see me more than I can see him because I've got this light shining in my face. It's dazzling me. <clears throat> Losing my night vision. But has he got a tin of northern monk on him? Doubtful. Doubtful. Ah, uh, look. I signed it because I was going to hide it somewhere. I've been doing the thing on Instagram, if you want to follow me on Instagram, <coughs> on my Insta stories, I've just been signing cans from Northern Monk and putting them in places that people might know where they are. They've had some fun with it. It's kind of littering, isn't it, but... It's kind of a treasure hunt, litter, litter bug treasure hunt. <laughs> Lovely view. You can see the streaks of white cutting through the the side of the fell there because it's all just the water frothing up running into time beautiful hey up <laughs> it's raining but dry dry as a bone <sighs> love this shit mate i love it something about being in like enclosed spaces like this and like the tent when you know that the weather's sort of inclement or bad even. Which gives me such a satisfying, like a deep primal satisfaction. Let's go and get back in dome away from home before it gets completely pitch black. My self-contained cup kit. So just lid on, which, it goes on loosely, but if you, this protective orange thing just goes over top and just keeps everything nestled in nice. And it's the 900, it's a tight Tux 900 titanium pot. It's got a, like, you can slide that along so that the, uh, the handle stays in the air. And it's got little holes in there to let out the, the steam or whatever. Wonderful, wonderful pot. I've got this. We call this a gas stabilization device. You know, in camping community, that's what we call it. 
GSD. That's what that is. That hasn't let me down. I used one of these cheaper, smaller B something or the BSR or something from uh, that I got off Amazon and it was just, it was good, but then it let me down when I needed it the most on a snowy winter camp. It let me down, so I had to go all night without a hot drink or any hot food. And so that's it. I had to bin it and go for this reliable thing and it's just, it's not let me down yet, touch wood. Wire scourer, just keep my pots clean. Same again, little sponge cut down. Got my titanium folding spark. Fits in there too. The 900 mil pot itself. And in there, I've got the 500 mil which nestles in there perfectly. And then a small gas canister. And usually in this, you can see there's a little delve in this gas canister. I keep a mini Bic lighter in there. So you've got a fully self-contained um, cook kit. It would even be better. You could probably keep a fire steel in there as well, which would probably, yeah, which would be even better. Um, wrap an old bit of camping towel around there. That just stops the rust getting to the bottom of your uh, your titanium and then another bit of camping towel goes around the 500 mil and into there just stops it rattling about you can even put your sponge down the side there which you see no noise and everything just goes back in and there you go no noise it's not rattling it's self-contained doesn't take up much room in your pack and you can do anything there you can boil your camping meals in the 900 mil the 900 mil is enough to cook even for two people you can do little stews and rice dishes and whatever you need to do and then the 500 mil perfect for boiling water for one person or just having a brew out of Paul felt his left hand aching uncurled the clenched fingers looked at four bloody marks where fingernails had bitten his palm my for choice the opinel it's going to dice up a clove of garlic there you go <laughs> ah the wind blew it off that's right let's come this way a little bit that was a warning shot across the bows coconut oil right we're in with the garlic slices that already smells amazing let's turn them turn it down a bit because i don't want to burn these garlics just want to just sort of saute them a little bit mains gill Mains Gill Farm Shop. You see the the marbling in that. Throw the fat on. I don't want to mess around with it. Don't want to shift it about. Just want it to sear on a relatively high heat. That steak's about done, so I'd say anyway. And this is where we eat it with death dust. I won't use my fingers because I've made that mistake in the past. A little bit of dust on top. Nice. 
let's have a glass of wine as well with it, shall we? Come on, we're not animals. Just a little splash. Absent friends. Delicious. And don't worry, I know it's a non-stick pan. I've put veg under it so I can just slice the meat. I won't go through all the way through the veg and then I'll just eat it as a wanna so there you go delightful mm. that's how juicy it is oh. what's point you can't even see it Wind's blowing, rain's falling, and it'll be freezing out there. I'm warm and I'm having a steak supper. Cut it, man. There's plenty here to keep me going all night. I've been getting up every hour to see if the skies have, have cleared, but they, they don't look like they're clearing, it's just still battering down with wind, as you can see, and here, so no fancy time lapses, I'm afraid. I'm just tent bound, which is kind of what I wanted anyway. Earplugs are in. <laughs> see you on the morrow. Morning glampers. Whoa. It's half past seven. I'll tell you what, my bag. Everything all above this side is soaking wet. Bag's wet. I wasn't able to have it fully ventilated, so it's um, so it got a bit damp. Um, and where the tent was just folding in on me, it was just it got me sleeping bag wet. Ah. It's wild, man. It's wild out there. It's totally wild. So this is it, man. for it mate it's only gonna get worse as well it's forecast too so I don't know how much filming I can do here because I'm gonna have to put this camera in my bag because it's not waterproof so I might switch to GoPro on my way out I'm supposed to get it said it was gonna get worse by nine so I think best bet is getting up and getting everything squared away and uh, and getting off the mountain before it gets before it gets too much. <laughs> right, let's get up. It's pretty wild. A really wild show. My bag's pretty much packed. Only had one glass of wine last night, so I'll take that home. Finish it another time. I'll do some. I'll use it for cooking. Um. When the gusts come, man, it's folding tent in half. It's wild, so. Whoa. Yeah, in gale force winds and storms, it's not really wise. Not really wise to go wild swimming. Woo! <laughs> so I'm just going to square away. I'm even going to put this camera away. I'll maybe film some on GoPro on my way out, but uh, yeah, it's, it's time to get out of Dodge. Burghouse. Deluge, whee! Got me wellies, got me waterproof. All my waterproofs are on, bags packed. The wind isn't easing up. Let's have a look outside. Oh! <laughs> okay, there's me other cups blown over there. Ah. Oh! 
I was best to tackle it. Just go for it. Put GoPro in my mouth and leg it. Put it under there. Tent stand up okay. One guy line has been blown out. Two. That's all right, two guy line. Whoa. Two guy lines blown out. I gotta get this done quick, mate. I can't feel my fingers. Just get after it, mate. Come on. That's it. Leave no trace, obviously. <laughs> Have a quick check. <laughs> ah, well, you know. Can't have it all your own way, mate. Have it all your own way, make you soft. Make you soft if you have it all your own way. <sighs> right, <let's... laughs> ah. Happy days, let's go. What the perks of having wellies on? <laughs> Glorious day. Quite pretty, like. <laughs> oh, I'm getting blown all over. Everything's soaking. I guess that's the thing. If you were, uh, if I was doing a multi-day hike, I would, have, you, you know, in rain, you have to, you have to be really methodical and on on it. Really, everything in a dry bag. Um, everything that you're going to sleep in, always in a dry bag. Keep your sleeping bag dry with your bivvy bag. Always have your rain cover on. Don't carry a bottle of wine and loads of, and a drone. <laughs> Cars wobbling with windy. Beautiful. Anyway, I've enjoyed that one. I've enjoyed that one, and uh, it felt good to be in the Hilleberg um, with a little bit of adversity, and it stood up to it. Stood up to it admirably. It's uh, a couple of a couple of uh, guy lines came out in the night, but it wasn't a problem. It just held itself. It held held its own. And it wasn't caving in too bad on me. So if I, because it's so big, you can go in the middle of it and pretty much stay away from it. If you go to the edges, then it's gonna the the walls are gonna touch your head and keep you awake. But with my earplugs in, I had plenty enough. I had enough sleep. I was hoping for some stars as it was a new moon yesterday, not the day before. But it was just cloudy. I kept setting my alarm and getting up like every hour to see, and it was just. It was just pea soup, couldn't see anything. It was windy and it was rainy as well, so... And I tapped out on uh, on star lapses and that. Uh, best go roll my sleeves up and get a bit done. Thank you to anyone who's watching or to anyone who has watched and to anyone who clicks the like button and, and all that sort of jazz. I appreciate it, thank you, and I shall see you soon. Au revoir.
This is sort of the sat still version of me walking off and coming back. Cause I can't go anywhere. I can move the seat back, look. Oh, wow, I like that, look. Get the floor in, right? See you later.